Welcome back to the Etches Collection YouTube channel. So my name's Emma from M Gems, and today I've got these two gnarly looking teeth to talk about. So in my hands are actually two reptilian of origin teeth that are long extinct. This one you might recognize. So this is a T-Rex tooth. And this one, on the other hand, you may not. So this is actually from a pliosaur. Now, the reason for this video is because we're gonna compare the two. And you might be thinking, why are we comparing a land animal with a sea animal? And that's because if you actually look at them, they're quite a similar size. And that's where this video gets interesting. translate the names for a second. So pliosaur translate to more lizard-like, whereas the Tyrannosaurus rex literally translates to tyrant lizard king. So they both have pretty extra names, this one slightly more extra, but if we actually look at the sizes, potentially this one should be the more extra tooth. So these creatures are both extinct, this one is from the Cretaceous period, and this one is actually from the Jurassic period. So I should say late Cretaceous, and this one is probably late Jurassic. So this tooth here, the Pliosaur, actually existed before the Tyrannosaurus. So you may be wondering why we're comparing these teeth in the first place, because they aren't from the same animal, they're not even from the same time period, one's from the land and one's from the sea. But in fact, the T-Rex tooth is very well known, but the pliosaur tooth, you can actually find them here in Kimmeridge, and that's the whole reason we'd like to do this, because we can. But not only that, there are some great characteristics that make these teeth different and better for their specific animal. So let's take a closer look at these and see just how the pliosaur might compete with the T-Rex. So if you look at these two teeth, you'll notice that they are similar in size, but their shape is quite dramatically different. So if I put the pliosaur to one side and we just take a look at the T-Rex tooth, you can see that the root stops and the crown begins. Now the crown being the part of the tooth that's used for biting. Now these teeth are lined in tiny serrations down the edge here, which would have been useful for cutting through meat and bone. It's believed the T-Rex could have had between 50 to 60 teeth, and these would have been regularly replaced. The larger teeth grew up to about 12 inches, including the root. Now these 50 to 60 teeth vary along the jaw, much like ours do, each with a different function. It's believed the front incisor-like teeth were designed for nipping and grasping, while large serrated cheek teeth facilitated crushing and tearing through flesh and bone. So if we now take a look at the pliosaur tooth, you'll notice that the crown starts here. So this one doesn't actually have the same lovely root like the T-Rex one, but you have to imagine it. So the actual tooth here that would have been used for biting is this long. So in fact, a little bit longer. So these teeth are trihedral or triangular in shape. Now not all pliosaur teeth are like this or have the same shape as this, but they do often exhibit a similar shape. So these teeth come to a sharp point and have these lines down the side. Now these striations are seen in some crocodile teeth, but their exact purpose is still up for debate. The team here believe that they help relieve the negative pressure created when puncturing flesh underwater. Like T-Rex teeth, pliosaur teeth varied in the jaw, although their size variation was much more dramatic. Without focusing on a specific species, it's difficult to provide facts about size and number of teeth in a skull. However, examples of pliosaur teeth 16 inches long have been found. We hope that you found this tooth comparison useful and that you've learned a little bit more about what a pliosaur was like and also how it compared to the T-Rex that you might be more familiar with. But thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches Collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time.